Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I talk about all things stationery. Um, I love fountain pens, inks, and paper, and all that good stuff. So this video, I am going to be babbling on about my current status in my Hobonichi. Hint, hint, I have a lot of blank pages. Uh, where I am, what am I using? Um, some new fountain pens I got. A new fountain pen to unbox, the Le Bon, and just uh, some other goodies that I found. So yeah, stay tuned if you want to see the rest of this video. Um, I recently acquired some uh, new fountain pens for different reasons. So this Preppy is one of my favorites. Uh, this I don't remember I think I got this from I don't remember but uh yeah it's not my first platinum preppy it's probably my third but it has this um sealed cap mechanism so the ink will take a very long time to dry up and I originally purchased this for work um but I'm not using fountain pens anymore because I moved into a moleskin planner and as everyone knows, moleskin uh, does not, the paper doesn't take fountain pens very well uh, and it, some inks do bleed in here. So I've actually um, used, been using the Uniball 1 and I have to say this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite gel pens I have ever, ever used. And the reason why is that when it has a balancing point um it's i can't even explain but they have a good it brings the pen down and it's weighted so that when you're writing there you do feel it's weighted and it's i think it the weight is near the tip of the pen and it feels very 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 good in the hands and I am just in love with this pen. It's very, it's a very dark black. Uh, so it's a very nice, sh it produces very sharp lines and I will need a refill after I'm done this. And I just love this. This I, per I didn't purchase, but I was sent uh, from Stationery Pal and I have the link down below, you can get uh, 13% off if you use my code TOXMOD, so I will link that below, but I have, I believe, a green one and a light blue one. So I just can't get enough of these uh, Uniball 1 gel pens. So that's why I've been using it in my work planner and I just love it because the moleskin has a little pocket at the back with some stickers, as usual, uh, which I really, a lot of people know, so I'm not going to get into it. Um, but I'm using the weekly version, and, and I really, really, really like it, and it's perfect for quick notes, or uh, yeah, just keeping track, and a data planner is so better, so much better than just a plain notebook, so at least there's some timeline. Uh, and you'll know you can reference your notes back. So I uh, love of that it has a little emboss over here 2023 and uh, I don't know if you can see but yeah, so this is the soft uh, leatherette cover and I purchased this um, I think late in January when it was I think I purchased this for like $14 on Amazon when it was on clearance um, so that's that. So that's why I had purchased the Platinum Preppy and I just love the look of this pen and yeah, so I'm just going to be uh, rotating this in my collection. Uh, and then most recently, this took over like a month, two months I think, but I really wanted, first of all, this, um, this is a copy, a Jinhao copy of a very well-known pen. Uh, the Lamy 2000 and I saw they had a gray version. I don't own the Lamy 2000 and I had my eye on it and I wanted to see 
uh, you know, how I would like it, like the, the shape of the pen. Um, so that's why I got it because, well, it's in gray and I hope one day they will release a gray version, not just a black one. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I just wanted to, to check it out. Um, but yeah, this body, uh, apparently you can swap the nib from the Lamy nib and put it on here, which um, I've read a lot of people do, um, especially when you wanted to bring it out with you. You don't want to lose an expensive pen. You can just swap it out and just use this cheap um, Jin Hao uh, body. So that's another tip. Uh, what else? So that's this I haven't even used yet. Um, uh, but it's one of those pens where I'm not going to be worried if I just throw it around. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, and also, um, I recently um, ordered, oops, ordered these, I don't even know what to call it, the syr syringes with the spring top. So it's going to be easier when you ink up your ink up your inks and then you um, put it into your cartridge because I was using this before which is you gotta kind of uh, twist up and then twist down to get your ink so you always need two hands and this was a little cumbersome so I decided when I saw these uh, purchase I purchased these also uh, I think the same time as this one on Aliexpress and yeah so it came in three I, th I don't remember how much it was i think it was like four dollars but you press it down with one hand and then that's it just release and then you can just put the ink into wherever you want it to be so i thought these were convenient so i tried it once and it is so i think i prefer these over the screw and twisting up type and there's also the other more generic um the blunt needles, which I haven't had used yet, uh, which could be better. But for now, I'm just going to stick with what I have. So this I picked up a while ago. This is the Ink Miser Intra Bottle Inkwell. Um, I believe I picked this up at Bliss, Blisket, Canada. And this is useful for when your ink gets to the bottom of your ink bottle and you can't suck it up anymore because there's not enough ink so it comes with a syringe or um, what do you call this like a um, wow I completely blanked out but um, yeah so you just like pour the ink into here and then you can just easily ink up your fountain pen like that and I thought that is really useful because there's been a few times where the pen doesn't fit into the ink sample vial or when you are at the bottom of your ink bottle and trying to suck up ink is impossible this would come in very handy so I think every fountain pen uh, enthusiast should probably have this in their collection so uh, and yeah, so this was, I think, just about $15 or something. And yeah, so. So that's called the Ink Miser. And it says, never waste a drop. So they got that right. Uh, yeah, and then the next thing I want to bring up is, which I didn't showcase on the video, on this channel this time, but I did do... Uh, swatches of this new Ferris Wheel Press Fairy Tales ink, which is so, 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 so cute. It's one of my favorite inks. Uh, this is called Workshop Wishes, and I swatched these on my Instagram. And look how cute this bottle is. I just love it so much. And um, I do have a swatch here for you. And also, also they sent me over these, this one is called 
Grand Central Skies, and it's this nice emerald green. And I did, I just wanted to show you because I did not show this on this channel. Um, oh, this is my latest, favorite, greatest. This is the Pilot Metro, and I love the color of this pen. I love the design of the hound's tooth. I'm so such a hound's tooth girl, so I love, love, love this pen. And I cannot rave enough about this pen. It's so great. Okay, so I'll leave that there. And yeah, so it actually fits in my superior labor cover. Just I just use it like this. Um, it's just pretty convenient. And it also, I know I'm completely going off topic, but I just put the pen in there and then I don't have to worry about zip, like holding it when it's unzipped. And yeah, so I do love this cover so much. Um, and I don't see myself switching out of this. Um, anyways, so I do have, I did do a swatch. If you are not following me on Instagram, then you should head over there so you don't miss out on little uh, tidbits. Um, so this one, Workshop Wishes, is so beautiful and it has like a silver shimmer to it. And look how beautiful that is. It, there's no sun today, so you can't really see the silver um, shimmer, but that is just gorgeous. And and then the other one, the this one, this is like a bright green or a bright, uh, t I guess a bright teal. And it also has this silver shimmer to it. And it's so pretty. So... So yeah, I have better pictures on my Instagram if you want to check that out. Um, and they do, I do have, um, I believe, a 15% off discount code for these inks. If you use Toxmot, I will link it down below. Um, but now, since we're here, I wanted to talk about... I'm not even in the frame. Okay, guys. So I wanted to talk about my Hobonichi. It's um, quite a mess currently because uh, life has been so busy and it's so hard to just keep up every single day and actually just be consistent. So I've been struggling with that and uh, I'm not giving up and I'm going to try my best and remind myself to write in it every day. I have to say the reason why I have kind of not been consistent is because A, I still don't have my desk set up. I don't have, I had to rearrange and move my bookshelf. So all my journaling, all my fountain pens are sitting all around the place and I don't have a central place where I have everything together. And it's been a struggle because of that reason. Uh, I've been trying to journal on a lap desk and it's been very hard and difficult because it's late in the day when I get to home to do it and there's no lighting. So uh, it's been a struggle to keep up every single day because I don't have my usual desk set up. I don't know where my stuff is and I'm not comfortable uh, journaling on a lap desk uh, with, like, on the couch. So that's the reason why I have not been very consistent in my journals, but uh, I'm hoping it will be fixed by summer so um, that I can actually get back to enjoying uh, journaling again. So, um, but with that said, I have a lot of blanks in here, a lot of blanks, and I am planning to use it as a swatch page and as a place to make lists and a place to write down my ideas and brainstorm. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what I'm planning to do. So if you have a lot of blank pages too, don't worry about it. It's bound to happen. Um, but I did try, I did try to make it up uh, and fill in whatever whatever I can basically uh, in the back pages and as you can see the beginning of March I still have a blank page here 
I still need to put out some stickers. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that today, hopefully. Um, still have a few errands to run and it's already Sunday. So this video will be going out someday uh, in the midweek, hopefully, uh, once I get around to editing it. And somebody uh, a few videos ago asked me to do like a sticker collection to see how much, uh, how I organize my stickers. And I have to say this uh, is pretty much all the stickers that I actually own. And it's all in this one book. Uh, it, I know it's kind of hard to believe, but it is, this is all the stickers I actually own and use. Um, is in here so it's mostly transfer stickers from uh, MU um, yeah and I'm getting through them pretty slowly and this is from stationary pal um, and yeah so this is also from stationary pal and so I'm gonna be getting through it slowly and I can't wait to use these for spring so that's probably gonna be going through out my March pages, all these butterflies. Um, yeah, more transfer MU stickers, some Christmassy themed. And yeah, so I still, I made an order at Paper Plus Cloth and, oh, this one's from Daiso. I made a order, so I have one sticker coming, one sticker sheet coming. And uh, yeah, so this is actually all the stickers and the other, only other ones are actually stuffed in my cover and they are not they're just very small it's a small stack of stickers sheets um dot stickers so just some washi stickers um that i want to use up so so yeah so that's pretty much all i have the rest are like pet tapes and in here, this pocket, this is all I have is these A5 size um, quote stickers that I got a while back from Nano, Nico Nano, no, Nico Neko, sorry, Nico Neko stationery. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I just have some like, swatch papers here and I don't have anything else. So that's that for my. Hobonichi and my stickers. And um, so I So the next thing I want to talk about is the Laban pen, fountain pen. I purchased this during the fountain pen day deals on cult pens. And I have not unboxed it and I've been waiting to unbox it because this is going to be, this, this pen is Laban's spring pen and I've had my eye on it for a very long time and I have not unboxed it yet because I've been waiting and next week is going to be the f start of spring and I thought it would be the now is the perfect time to actually unbox it and ink it up and use it in March and so I have taken a peek at it here and there but I'm not unboxed it or taken it out of the packaging and if you guessed it's it you are right this is the lilac i believe this is called the laban lilac i don't exactly remember but i'll put it across the screen but this one i purchased in the fine and this is my first laban fountain pen uh and when i saw this on i think it was on instagram I thought it was the most prettiest thing I have seen because look there it is this is such a beautiful combination of like mossy green and sky blue or lilac blue 
and I just wished that the golden hardware was silver instead to bring out that to bring out the lilac color um, I f just feel like silver hardware would have paired much better uh, with this uh, with this type of blue and green so I just want to do closer so you guys can see it's a very beautiful mossy green and I believe this was 20% off on uh, cult pens during fountain pen day deals and I think the deals were going on for about a week and yeah so here it is and let's see the nib so I've never used a Laban fountain pen before and yeah so that's how it looks it's a duo um, it's silver and it's like gold right there so yeah see how it caps and I yeah I think I could write with it capped um, but it's a little back heavy so uh, most likely I don't know it's I feel like I could get away with it um, but I probably will just for ease of use I probably will not cap this when I use it um, so yeah so I have chosen to ink this up with um, a very spring-like ink and by spring-like I mean Lennon Toolbar Verdant which means green I believe in French um, and it's an uh, ink sample that Jenny sent me last year and she wrote it's her favorite here so um, and this is the swatch I did at the top and this green just screams fresh vibrant well not vibrant but it's just very it gives me a very fresh clean um, light feeling when I use it and I don't it's it's not like any of my other green inks and this really stands out when I use it um, I can't really explain it but I'm going to be swatching this up today and doing a writing test so let's see so that's the converter and it says Laban I feel like the Laban brand I have um, mixed feelings I feel like there's just too much going on like in here um, but that's just me I feel like yeah um, so let's just um, hmm, how should I ink this up so I think this is a pretty big nib. This is uh, very comparable to my, okay, I don't have it here, but it's probably a number five nib. It's uh, definitely larger than my Sailors and Twisbees. So. so let's get to a spare page here. Okay guys, so, so far it feels uh, pretty smooth. 
and there's no problems with the nib and the ink just needed time to sort of like flow through it for the f in the beginning but um, it in the beginning it felt a little dry but then here it was very smooth and the ink was laying down pretty evenly so yeah and I just uh, love the color with this uh, with this pen so um, so it's kind of strange that I am getting I guess it depends on the writing angle if you are not holding it correctly it will feel like it's scratchy but I think it's user error because I don't have that problem now but as you can see in the beginning it was like that um, but this is definitely not the best nib I have used and it could need um, a flushing out because I'm getting inconsistent line widths uh, when I'm writing and I can also feel that inconsistent when I'm writing with it and I don't see it to be a problem at all. Um, it just probably needs um, time for also the ink to completely flow through because I didn't really wait and I just I just um, forced the ink a little bit to go through the feed um, but yeah I don't see it as a problem there it is and that's the perfect color and I can't wait to also ink it up with the blue um, when I'm done with this ink but this is the perfect March um, spring pen. So that is my spring pen and I'm so excited. Um, and I can't believe I actually waited this long to unbox it. So, but I wanted to really, really be able to unbox it and use it when time comes. And that's why I waited for so long. Um, so yeah. So that is the Le Bon Lilac pen. And lastly, I wanted to talk about my latest obsession. I am late to the bandwagon, but if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been obsessed with these uh, Lululemon um, like belt bags and pouches and, and everything. Um, so I'm late to the game and I know these are really hot items like for probably like the last few years uh, and it was like really hard to get but basically is you you wear these across to the front um, across your front body um, torso area um, like as a crossbody and well you can also it was designed to go around your your waist because it is a belt bag but a lot of people like to wear it like at the front and I realized it actually fits um, some journaling items, which is really cool. Um, this rickshaw sleeve fits actually really perfect in there. And also the Nolte. Um, so my Nolte also fits in there. And yeah, I thought, I don't know, it just the feel of the type of like construction fabric uh, this is you know made for travel on the move it's you know the same thing with uh, these Lululemon um, they call it athleisure outfits also made to be you know travel friendly so I just I just thought it was sort of like a perfect uh, combination and I was so impressed with this uh, belt bag that I Actually, I like. I actually um, purchased this um, clutch. I actually purchased this clutch first, and I was so impressed uh, with the quality build of this. And I also <laughs> realized that this is the perfect kind of like on the go um, pen pouch slash journal pouch. Um, and you can also put a Hobonichi Weeks in there. There's also a wallet slot. Um, and you can also put like, um, 
some stickers and ephemera in here if you don't want to use it as a wallet so uh, I thought that was really neat and um, yeah it's it's just great so um, I actually don't know if I will be putting my Hobonichi in there yet but um, this is such a useful pouch for on the go. Um, I do want to journal more often on the go. So I think I might just set this up for that. Uh, but I wanted to just share with you my latest obsession. And uh, yeah, I, I also purchased one of their other regular bags. So that is pretty much it for this video. And I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing all the new stuff that i got enjoyed the unboxing and let me know down below if you have any questions about anything here and i will catch you guys next time thank you and have a great rest of the week